Glory to God. Glory to God. <clears throat> Praise God. I'd like you to come in. I have something very important to share with you that has been impressed in my heart. Uh, praise God. When you come in, please let me know your name, where you're connecting from, and I'd like you to share the video. Help me share the video. Let's get this message as viral as possible because I want to say things that pertain to this um, corona situation that we're dealing with globally. So I'd like you to come in and invite somebody. It's very important. Invite a friend, invite a loved one, share the video on your pages and help me get more people to come on. I have something very important to share today. Praise God. When you come in, I'd like you to let me know your name and where you're connecting from. Irene from Paris. Irene, bless you. Bless you. When you come in, let me know your name and where you're connecting from. I have something very important to share with you on this coronavirus situation. I've been meditating about it since it, you know, broke out and I've just been finding out what the Lord will have me say concerning this at such a time as this. Um, I can see uh, Colin C. Geoffo from Chicago. Glad to have you here. Netherlands, Kenya. Bless you. Uh, Shama from Zambia. Brother Jerry from Ghana. Good to see you here. Chris Manu from Ghana. Good to see you. Um, Things of the Spirit from Ghana. Good to see you. Um, uh, Yan Kain from USA. Good to see you. Asibe from UK. Pastor Tubi. Good to see you from Taraba. Uh, Safowa Lydia from Ghana, good to see you. Richard Anim from Ghana, we've got a lot of people from Ghana today, what a blessing. John Gama from Norway, Inkechi Brown from Houston, Texas, Oboyi from Dubai, Frank from Poland, Dixon from South Africa, Sarah from Cyprus, Nancy from Kenya, uh, uh, Stem Biso from South Africa, Pondi, bless you. Harbert from South Africa, good to have all of you coming in from all over the world. Help me share the video. I have something important to share with all of you concerning this coronavirus. Now, wherever you're connecting from, I'd like you to say these words with me before we begin the broadcast. Say with me very loud and very confidently, I believe the word of God. I am what the word says I am. I have what the word says I have. I can do what the word says I can do. I do not struggle to do the word of God. The word of God is my nature. Therefore today I declare, I am not moved by circumstances. I am not moved by the news media. I am not moved by the secular reports. I'm only moved by the word of God. The word of God is final authority in my life. Say it again. The word of God is final authority in my life. Say it one more time. The word of God is final authority in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the broadcast today, and I'm so glad all of you are here. Um, in the wake of the coronavirus, it, you know, something has become so very clear that our world has changed all of a sudden within a few days. The whole world has changed, you know, um, and that explains to you the uncertainty of the world system, that in this world, nothing is certain. In a second, the entire world can change because there is nothing certain that's why jesus will say charge them that are rich in this world not to trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who giveth us all things richly to enjoy now the endemic is out and it's spreading china on lockdown is spreading all over america spreading all over europe 
you know, Canada. I mean, it's just spreading everywhere. But you that is in Christ, Scripture says that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. The word of God tells us you are in this world, but you are not of this world. You are not of this world. You don't belong to this world system, even though you are in this world. The world system is a system that has a circle within the law of the spirit of sin and death. The law of sin and death. The book of Romans chapter 8 tells us, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Listen very carefully. You cannot afford fear. I repeat, you cannot afford fear. One more time. You cannot afford fear. God has not given to us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. You cannot afford fear at this time. The world system is busy pumping out information, and along with that information is fear. Fear of uncertainty, fear of death, fear of socializing. I mean, all kinds of fears are pumping out right there in the society. The news media are filled with fear. Information is all over the place. But you as a believer in Christ cannot afford fear. There is no fear in love. Perfected love casts out fear. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. The book of 1 John chapter 4 says, We have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. And then he says, There is no fear in love. Perfected love casts out fear. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Then he now says that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. You cannot afford to fear. The law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Now, I know that some people that are in societies where there is such strong you know, endemic of this of this particular virus are watching at this hour. Some of you may even have people who are infected. There may even be people infected watching me right now. The Bible tells us that a man's spirit shall sustain his infirmity. A man's spirit shall sustain his infirmity. That is why you have to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. You've got to make up your mind whose report to believe in moments like this. You have to make up your mind whose report to believe in moments like this. He says, my son, attend to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not depart from your heart. For they are life to those who find them and held to all their flesh. The word of God is life to those who find them and held to all their flesh. He sent his word, and his word healeth them, and his word delivered them from all their destructions. He sent his word, his word healeth them, and his word delivered them from all their destructions. You are the man in Christ. There is no coronavirus in Christ. Where you are, that virus cannot function. You function in your realities in Christ Jesus. 2,000 years ago, Jesus disarmed principalities and powers and made a public show of the enemy. So no plague is permitted to come nigh your dwelling. No evil shall befall you. No plague shall come nigh your dwelling. You are in Christ Jesus, secured, sealed, 
and kept by the power of God. You are secured, you are sealed, you are kept by the power of God. You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba Father. You cannot afford fear at such a time as this. Jesus looked at a fig tree and exercised authority over that fig tree in Mark chapter 11. And the disciples, the following day, said to Jesus, The tree you dried has withered away. And Jesus said, Have faith in God, or have the faith that God gives, or have God's kind of faith. Then Jesus said, if you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe the things that you say, you shall have what you say, if you shall say. So the authority of the believer is not only necessary, it's not only important, it is a necessity for times like this. Your authority as a believer becomes a necessity for such moments like this. Jesus was in a boat with his disciples and there was a wind and a wave in the sea and they were about to die. Jesus stood up, rebuked the wind and rebuked the waves and there was a calm. He exercised authority over the wind and the waves that threatened the lives of everybody that was with him in that boat. As a believer in Jesus, you are in authority right here. They that receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, they reign over Corona. They reign over that virus called Corona. They reign over circumstances and situations. You are in authority here. You are the light of the world. In the midst of darkness, that is when light shines. It is time for you to rise up and exercise your authority by speaking words of faith. Jesus spoke to the tree, and by the next day, the tree had dried up. You've got to speak words. You stand up and begin to declare, I am born of God. The power of God is working in me mightily. My body is immunized. My organs are immunized. My heart, my liver, my kidneys, my bones, all the systems in my body are secured. They are protected. I am kept by the power of God. Resurrection power is at work in me. The power that raised Christ from the dead is at work in me. No fear here. No fear here. I have the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. And then you begin to speak concerning those that have been affected. We receive healing on their behalf and we declare that virus subdued in the name of Jesus. We receive solution to that virus. We receive solution to that virus. We receive strategy and wisdom to put an end to that endemic. We speak to that endemic. We speak to that virus in the name of Jesus. We command it to cease in its maneuvers. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Anywhere there is killing and destruction, the devil is at work. Jesus didn't pamper the waves, winds and the waves. He spoke to them authoritatively, and there was a calm. So we speak to that virus today. We declare a solution for it, and we command it to wither in the name of Jesus we command it to wither. We command solution. In the name of Jesus, governments, companies, organizations in our societies, we command them to come by a solution supernaturally to put an end to that endemic in the name of Jesus. And for those affected, we command a supernatural intervention. The healing power of God reaches out to them right now. And we pray for those that are listening to me right now. You are strengthened with might by the Spirit in the inner man. Christ dwells in your heart by faith. 
you are rooted, you are grounded, you are kept by the power of God. Fear has no hold over you. You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. I decree that you are strengthened, you are equipped, the enemy's holes are broken. The law of sin and death is broken. It has no power over you. And in the name of Jesus, we pump out the healing power of God over people that are in contact with us, over people that are related to us. We release the healing power of God in the name of Jesus. And we declare, we declare right now that the power of God is at work in your body, at work in your mind, at work in your family, at work in your environment, in the name of Jesus, and we declare fear has no hold over you whatsoever. You have the spirit of boldness, the spirit of power, the spirit of a sound mind, a sound mind, and then you shut your ears to too much of this information. Shut your ears to them. You've already got the basics. Keep yourself clean, keep yourself sanitized, Keep yourself covered. Keep yourself in a very reasonable distance and take care of yourself. You've got the basics. So what do you do? You now shut your ears to any information that is coming with fear, any information that is threatening what you believe. You know, God asks Adam, who told you you're naked? Who told you you're naked? You guard your heart with all diligence out of it are the issues and the forces of life. You guard your heart. Spend all of those stories and news you are hearing through the news media. You've got the basic information. Guard your heart. Meditating on God's word. You spend the time meditating on your identity in Christ. You spend the time meditating on your realities in Christ. You are born of God. You have the life of God at work in you. Death cannot function where cannot operate where light is. You have the life of God at work in your DNA. You are born of God. You are born of life. The life of God rules on your inside. The life of God is at work in your system. He that has the son has life. You have the son of God. You have life. And in the name of Jesus, you declare words every day. You wake up, declare those words, and you declare the word of God over your environment, over your nation. You are the light of the world. You declare God's word. You proclaim God's word. You pronounce God's word. You refuse to take any story, any, any news that is contrary to what the word of God will do if the word of God was where you are. You do what Jesus will do exactly of faith. Don't join the world to world to propagate what you propagate what you know. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. We are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth, and the salt of the earth is there to preserve. So we speak God's preservation, we speak God's life, we speak God's protection. Over everyone, we speak, we declare the healing power of God. We refuse to, to, to bow. We refuse to take sides with everything contrary to what Christ has done. Jesus healed them all. We declare people healed. And we declare you preserved. And we speak to that virus. We declare its end. And we declare it terminated in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. All the labs that are doing experiments at this hour. All the scientists that have given themselves to experiments to arrive at the cure of this virus, we ask that they have wisdom, they have direction, they have inspiration, they know what to do, they are not confused in the name of Jesus. And we declare that this virus comes to an end in its, in its operations in the name of Jesus. And we declare the life of God made manifest in our world, in our generation. And we speak peace. We speak peace. Peace be still. We rebuke the wind. We rebuke the storm. We rebuke the waves in the name of Jesus. And we speak peace. Eva, you keep speaking words of faith every day. 
even God who quickeneth the dead, calling the things that be not as though they were. You speak faith-filled words. You speak life-filled words. And you speak love-filled words every day. You speak it all through the day. You speak it at every time you have space in your office. You speak it over your wife. You speak it over your children. You speak it over your colleagues in the office. You speak it over your neighbors. You declare God's word and you declare God's healing power. The law of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Praise God. These are the words I have for you today. You take these words very serious and you guard your heart. You be blessed. You enjoy God's peace and God's rest. And you don't want to miss what I'm going to be preaching tomorrow morning. Right here on this Facebook page. I'll be live bringing the healing word of God at 8 a.m. GMT plus 1 and 11 a.m. GMT plus 1. I'll be bringing God's healing word. We will doctrinally establish the healing power of God and declare healing for people that are sick and believe God for the restoration of people whom the enemy has decided to take advantage of this season to batter their lives. Jesus healed them all. That is the will of God. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. We know that every good and perfect gift cometh from above. So the coronavirus is certainly not from God. It's not God trying to teach people a lesson. It's the devil at work. And we take authority over the devil and we stop him in his maneuvers in the name of Jesus. And of course, somebody says, well, are you sure it's the devil? Are you sure it's not human beings? Even if it's human beings, the devil walks through human beings to carry out his agenda. Ultimately, the devil's agenda is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you may have life. So we speak life to our society, we speak life to our world, we speak life to our viewers, and we speak life to everyone that is connected to this broadcast right now, the life of God, receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. You don't want to miss tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. GMT plus 1, 11 a.m. GMT plus 1, right here on this page. Share with everybody and encourage people around you. Share with them the good news about what the life of Christ has made available to us. Authority and dominion over sickness, disease, by whatever name it is called. They that